Well, good morning. It's Tuesday and welcome to our daily prayers. I've chosen a little extract from the uh, Christchurch stained glass window. This is Jesus, fairly obviously as king, flanked by two uh, angels or possibly cherubim. I think they are actually. But there he is with the orb and the crown. Looking like a king, he is the one who's got this, who is in charge. He is the creator and one day will be our judge. He is the sustainer of the world. Colossians says all things hold together in him. And at times where everything seems to be slipping and sliding around, we face uncertainty in the international situation, possibly in uncertainty in our own lives. So he comes the one who's got it all, Jesus our King. Let's pray to him and with the help of his spirit now. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our reading today <clears throat> is from John's Gospel. This is chapter 16, verse 33. Jesus says in speaking to his disciples, not too long before he faced his own death on the cross. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Sometimes when we think about Jesus or God bringing us peace, we tend to think of a lovely picture where we're sort of floating along and somehow the world's problems don't affect us or we don't even get them in the first place. We drift along peacefully, a bit like Jesus in one of his robes, um, quite happy with everything because everything's lovely. Well, sometimes I don't know about you, but that's right at the back of my mind. And I'm always slightly surprised when life isn't like that. And actually being a Christian is still subjects me to all the frustrations anyone else will have to deal with. And this is perhaps why I, I like this verse. Jesus is promising his disciples peace. But saying at the same time, there will be difficulty in the world. Which, first of all, I like his realism and the disciples certainly um, faced all sorts of persecution in their lives. But also it's true for you and me, there are difficult things. Um, things go wrong, evil people have their way. But Jesus' peace can be found within that. Take heart, he says, I have overcome the world. I am bigger than this. If you rely on me, I will see you through. It reminds me sometimes of that. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, verse in Hebrews. The picture someone shared with me was of a ship which had its anchor firmly planted in the seabed. But all around it, the wind was blowing and the waves were bashing the boats. But the boat was safe because it knew it had a decent anchor. Within life's tribulation and problems, we can find that peace. Let's pray now. And Father, we realise that the Christian life isn't one of being um, away from all trouble. Sometimes we're right in the middle of it, things happen. But thank you, even within that, you can show us a deeper peace of knowing we're loved by you and our future is in your hands. Thank you that you have overcome the world. Space for our prayers now.
And so now we come to the one who lovingly looks over our lives, our Heavenly Father, and we pray to him now. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so today, whatever the news, whatever's happening in your life, may you know God's grace, his love and his presence, his fellowship. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and for evermore. Amen.